Welcome back to Good Morning Savannah. Now about 15 minutes to the top of the hour. Let's look at that pollen count uh, for today. Grass is low, weeds are absent, trees and mold spores are both high. And we're going to see quite a bit of pine pollen that will be moving into our area once we get, continue getting these warm weather. That pine pollen, you'll notice lots of yellow over the next couple of weeks on your cars and also on the sidewalks. Temperatures outside starting out upper 40s to low 50s. Even some areas close to the coast are running into the mid 50s. Savannah with well, the warmer spots coming in at 57. Across the lower 48, you can see all this nice and mild weather across the southeast and really not that cold even north of us with Bismarck, North Dakota 37, Minneapolis 42, where they're finally uh, thawing out after the very cold winter that they had. Also Chicago 41, but we're going to see another shot of some colder air that will be moving in over the next uh, couple of days, not until late on Wednesday, mainly Thursday and into Friday mornings when we'll see that uh, cold temperatures. No rain falling. We will see another dry day, but once you go down the Gulf of Mexico, you can see some showers south south of Houston, south and west of Louisiana. This is all associated with a low and also a cold front that will be swinging through our area once we go into tomorrow. But in the meantime, high pressure system just south of Jacksonville will dominate our weather once again for today. A nice southerly flow coming out of the south. You can see up through 10 o'clock clouds to the south and west of us. We'll see a few more patchy clouds later this afternoon. But after 6 o'clock, the clouds will be on the increase, becoming cloudy throughout the overnight. And look at this when you wake up tomorrow morning uh, by early on Wednesday. Wednesday morning scattered showers will be likely may see a little bit of heavy downpours as this cold front continues to approach and watch this once we head in the afternoon by four o'clock we break out into a little sunshine allowing the temperatures to warm up mid to upper 70s and that front will swing through our area once we go into the evening on Wednesday and once that front pushes through cold air moves in and I do expect many areas when you wake up on Thursday morning will be in the upper 30s and probably not making it out of the 50s on Thursday afternoon. Now temperatures later today definitely feel like springtime this afternoon. 80 degrees for Reedsville, 81 for Jessup. Nice weather from Hinesville, also for Sylvania, 78. Probably the average temperature for today in most spots will be near 80 degrees, except right along the immediate coast for the beaches. Notice be cooler for Tybee and also for Hilton Head will be in the mid to upper 60s. Storm Tracker 7 day forecast. There's that warm weather for today or for today that is and also for tomorrow. But look at this, a few showers to start things off on Wednesday. Nice weather on Thursday with sunshine, but noticeably much cooler, 56 degrees in the afternoon. And then we watching very closely on Friday morning. Probably many areas will see some frost on the ground with that low near 34. Now for St. Patrick's Day weekend, Saturday will be looking dry, 68 degrees, a few showers on Sunday. And right now I do have St. Patrick's Day dry with clouds out there and temperatures in the mid 60s. Thanks for waking up this year on Good Morning Savannah. We have a lot more news to come right after the break.